Brian Ellis and welcome to the Creative Formula for the Bass Guitar. It's great to be coming into your homes today and I'm proud to announce the launch of my new series, the Bass Empowerment Series. In the next couple of programs, I'm going to be taking a look at things like fingering, song patterns, slapping and popping and plucking. The first thing I like to do with the B-flat major scale, I like to couple the notes together. So I'm going to start on the 6th fret of the E string. And I'm going to call out a few notes. Let's try B-flat, C. different runs, different melodies, and different launching points to expand the, um, the B-flat tonality. So what I'm saying is that when I have the tonic, which is my one, and I have my fourth degree, which is E-flat, and I have my fifth degree, which is my F, my dominant, Seven against B flat. Automatically, I have three chord centers.
three chord centers. chord centers and according to the tonality that I'm working in, in this case, B flat major, I like to go across, so I have B flat major, E flat major, and then F dominant. to link the B flat with my five, which is F, and also I get extra beauty when I go across and um, I take B flat and low low F or my 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 low five or octave down. So if I have something like. point usually your five becomes um, a launching point when you want to do your riffs Keep in mind when you're in your uh, uh, when you're in an ensemble, and then they call on you for the bass. They say, "All right, now it's time for the bass player to get a little daylight." And you have um, uh, what they have. You have something to draw from, a well to draw from. Like all your runs and your riffs wouldn't all sound the same. And also, while I'm on the topic, usually what I do, usually what I do, I like to stay right in the pocket of the song. I like to stay right in the pocket of the song because usually, um, once we get an idea of improv and improvisation, sometimes we have a tendency to be like a kid in a candy store. We have all these new runs. We have all these, all these runs now that we know, and we're so anxious to play them out. tendency to overplay and we step on um, our musicians, other musicians' toes, the piano player, the guitar player, the drummer, the sax. So usually I let it ride, I let it ride for a long time. And I do my accent. coming over 
from um, Germany and European style is the um, the natural mix that's incorporated right there in, in your jam. being incorporated right into the jam like if you was in the studio and the engineer is mixing you he he'll be mixing where everybody be going in a nice level so he be mixing you in and mixing you out so now that same characteristic is being carried over to our natural musicianship the drummer a chance to shine. If you just riffing and riffing all over the place, no one can ever get any daylight. You know, the core of music should be like a functioning, a well-oiled machine. You know, you go, you go four, four bars, the bass do a run. And you go do four bars, the guitar get a, a run. You do four bars, the keyboard do a run. You do four bars, the drummer do his thing. And it goes around and around and around and around like a well-oiled machine. <laughs> 